Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading. I am a couple of days late with these Pisces. It was just a ridiculously busy week last week. And to be honest, I don't like rushing the readings because I don't think that you feel the energies, you know, um, when you do that. So, yeah. So let's hear, hope we've got a good message for you. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay. So we have love that you are different, number 25. You know, sometimes... Oh, interesting. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but it's almost kind of like... Um, I had a mess... <laughs> There's a message here... If sometimes you don't feel your face fits, other people's face fits and yours doesn't, you know, there's an energy of, well, this is just love you, you know, don't allow other people to uh, dictate the perception of who you are, you know, to define who you are. Um, interesting, I'm getting that message. Uh, okay. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Pisces, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, you're being watched. Isn't that lovely? You're being watched over. Uh, guardian Angel. You can see this angel comforting and watching over this person with the head in the hands. Uh, love that energy, Pisces. Um, definitely an energy of being watched over. So let's pull some cards and see what we get. What is the message for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Pisces, thank you. Uh, 12th to the 18th of April, 2021, please. So I pull three cards, then we clarify, go deep into the message, as you know by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Pisces. Okay. Okay, message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides for the week, thank you. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, there you are with the moon energy. This is your card. In your challenge position, and we have the Ace of Wands. The sun, love it. Sun and moon, wow, lovely energy. And, and the Page of Cups. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. Thank you. So I have the Seven of Cups. The Sun, yeah, <laughs> I knew that was gonna come out again. Okay, yeah, I, I kind of get this Pisces, it's lovely. Um, and we have the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Devil Energy. So the devil is a card of Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. It's not limited to that, clearly. Um, let's clarify this devil before we start. Let's clarify this devil for Pisces, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, two of cups. one more for that one let's pull one more for the two of for two of cups and the devil please let's pull one more for the two of cups and the devil thank you So 
So I have the star energy, hope, faith, renewal, okay. It, it feels, Pisces, there is, you don't have clarity on it, it to do with an opportunity. Um, It's quite similar to the Cancer reading, though not quite. Um, the Moon, which is your card, is it can be an intuitive energy, trusting your intuition. But it, it generally the Moon represents where there's lack of clarity. I, I don't have clarity, and it's to do with. Uh, this Ace of Wands, something connected to your heart and soul, your passion, your desire, something that you absolutely want to take action towards. Now, this can be in terms of love, romance, relationship. The Wands can also be to do with business career, you know. So uh, whatever, wherever your passion is, I mean, this is something heart and soul energy. It is a, a card of inspired action. So I want to open this new door, but I, I don't have clarity. Yeah. The, the Seven of Wands, sorry, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups is a card of confusion. Uh, also, hopes, dreams, and wishes, some kind of. It, it feels like there is either an opportunity or somebody in your life here that you are. Is absolutely connected to your hopes, dreams, and wishes. I mean, there's a degree of infatuating here or daydreaming. Um, some of you might be doing that here, Pisces. Um, and I'm definitely getting this energy of yeah, self with this yeah, interesting self consciousness. This self consciousness with you. It feels like something connected to your hopes, dreams and wishes, like I said, an element of day, day, daydreaming, but there's this self-consciousness that you're going through here. I mean, whether, whether you're questioning, are you good enough or, um, or uh, does, my, does my face fit or I want to take action towards this opportunity, but is this going to be given to me? You know, it feels that kind of energy. There's a lack of clarity to do with a door that you want to open here and explore and, and absolutely take action towards. And the Ace of Wands, like I said, there is such potential. It is linked with your passion, your desire. Um, and there's it's a growth card that if you take action towards this door, this opportunity, whatever it is for you, it feels that there's going to grow into something successful, something powerful, something rewarding. Um, so there's definite energy here, Pisces, but I'm getting this energy of uh, there's a self-consciousness here going on and you're being told by the universe, love that you are different. If you're, if you're getting hang ups in whatever, I'm getting some, you know, somebody might have some kind of hang up or whatever this is. Um, I love this daydreaming energy. It, it feels, you know, you're being told, no, just embrace it. Embrace. Embrace who you are, you know. Don't apologise for it. Don't uh, feel lack for it. Don't feel self-conscious about it. Just embrace who you are. Because it definitely feels in this energy, where there was lack of clarity, things are going to become clear. All will be revealed. And that's what spirit is telling you. Everything will be revealed to do with this opportunity. You know, and the sun is a feel good energy. Um, it can be a card of it happening. So if you've had lack of clarity or confusion, you didn't know if it was happening. This is definitely an energy of the opportunity is on. It's happening. If there's been some delays for whatever reason, it's happening. Just lack of clarity, like I said. Um, and I like the sun energy because it allows you to overcome any barrier, obstacle, limitation and put it behind you and you step into the light. You feel good. There's growth. There's warmth. There's success with this card. Um, so it absolutely feels for some of you that 
there's such potential here uh, for something to happen. Like I said, it could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. I mean, you know, the two of cups can be a bond between two people. So that could be in business, you know, as well as love, romance. Uh, it, it definitely feels in this energy that you are, you have the opportunity to connect to somebody uh, or an opportunity this week that you've had lack of clarity on, but it definitely feels like everything is going to become clear and feel really good. Um, this is beautiful, abundant energy. So the new door is finally opening for you. And things are beginning to look up, you know. Now, the Page of Cups can be a message of love or somebody who is expressing themselves can also be to do with creative opportunity here, Pisces. Like I said, um, it, it just feels in this energy, things are looking up, you know. And it's because there is new hope with this Two of Cups. The... Yeah the offer, the invitation, that can be in terms of love, that can be a connection with somebody, it's a kindred spirit energy, bond between two people energy. It definitely feels in this energy. You're, you're either making an important connection this week, uh, somebody can be offering you an invitation, or like I said, this can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It feels very beautiful. And this devil energy, you know, it can be our own demons. I don't see it as too negative an energy. I mean, yes, you know, we can talk about addiction, codependency, um, unhealthy relationships with the devil, but I don't feel this in this instance. The devil can be our shadow self, you know? And I'm definitely getting this energy of something that you're conscious about uh maybe there's a and it can be in a restrictive energy you know um are you putting barriers up or the way that this shadow energy you know uh subconscious energy i'm definitely feeling is working for you is it creating barriers limitations restrictions stopping you from allowing this because it definitely feels in this energy whatever restriction you're experiencing here and it feels more to do with inner demons inner self-doubt inner insecurities this is where you can liberate from for them the star liberates from the devil you know, Uranus energy with Saturn. So there's definitely this energy of there is absolutely new hope. I mean, in one sense, this is an energy of the bond is stronger than that which is limiting you, causing barriers or um, insecurities, call it what you will. It definitely feels in this energy. This is, you know, finding the path that you need to be on. And if you take action towards this path, you have the ability to form, um, receive an offer, an invitation or a strong bond with somebody. Um, this, the star is a kind of hope, a uh, sense of uh, renewal of self, optimism, reasons to be hopeful. Um, it's also a card of divine wish fulfillment as well. So it's interesting. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's interesting because somebody that you've been, I was definitely getting this daydream energy about. But it feels like there was some self-consciousness here, Pisces, either on your part or on their part, because it can be somebody who's very close to you in this situation, the other person maybe, uh, if it's to do with love, romance, relationships. It feels in this situation you will liberate from those insecurities because these are expressions of love. Uh, this is a bond between two people. This is kindred spirits. This is the bond, the offer, the invitation, call it what you will. But it definitely feels in this energy, don't feel insecure. Don't let that devil energy put up barriers, restrictions, play on your insecurities, because I'm definitely feeling that things are looking up. In terms of love, this is beautiful. Uh, in terms of offers and invitations, this is beautiful. If you feel your face doesn't fit, it does. It's just your own shadow energy telling you that.
So I love this energy in the play and the cards, the uh, darkness to light, everything becoming clear. Things will feel good. You will absolutely be taking action towards this new door opening. And um, yeah, it, it just is an energy of, yeah, don't let those insecurities stop you from experiencing that. And the two of, two, two of cups coming in is just an energy of that conquers whatever insecurities that you've been experiencing here or boundaries or restrictions okay so what do we have as a final message for pisces please final message for pisces thank you final message for pisces thank you for the week okay yeah you see we have starfish intuition listen to your soul's truth think less feel more <laughs> yeah and you are led by your intuition so there's definitely an energy here of yeah don't let those insecurities play against you you know this is the challenge position with your card there is definitely an energy of just um trust your instincts in this situation and Definitely that Derek Devil Barry I'm seeing is an internal energy here, Pisces. Um, but lovely, lovely energy. And it's interesting that we've got the star and we've got the starfish. <laughs> so I'm definitely getting some kind of blessing coming your way. Again, divine blessing, divine wish fulfillment. Um, lovely, lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.